Jerry Sandusky's wife took the stand in her husband's sex abuse trial. She said the former Penn State coach's accusers would sleep over, and her husband was the one who went downstairs to say good night. But she says she never saw any inappropriate contact. A psychologist who recently examined Sandusky also took the stand. He said he diagnosed Sandusky with histrionic personality disorder. In tonight's big story, 3 Keys' Jared Dillingham takes a closer look at what this disorder is. Well, it's rare, Fields, and usually associated with women, typically those who are overly dramatic, who maybe inappropriately draw attention to themselves. So the question is, how does that apply to Jerry Sandusky? The sense from the psych community is that it really doesn't. Famous for directing defense on the football field, Jerry Sandusky's courtroom defense strategy is raising eyebrows. As his attorney walked into court today, he compared the trial to a soap opera. Actually, it could be all, all my children, all our children. His team concocted a defense partly based on histrionic personality disorder. Um, Valley psychiatrist Michael Yazinski says it's a rare diagnosis, usually associated with women seeking attention. The first thing that should come to your mind when you think of this is people that have lives full of drama. He says Sandusky, who's lived a relatively quiet life, married 46 years, does not fit the histrionic personality disorder profile. Still, today a psychologist told the jury under oath he recently diagnosed Sandusky with it. Have you ever seen this used successfully in court? I've never heard of it being used for any kind of defense. On the stand, the psychologist said love letters Sandusky wrote to the alleged child victims show clear signs of the disorder. But even if the disorder explains those strange letters, it does not explain the alleged abuse. And they're trying to mold it into something that can explain a horrendous behavior, and it simply just doesn't fit. The whole case should wrap up soon. The defense continues tomorrow. It is still unclear if Jerry Sandusky will take the stand. Jared Dillingham, 3T.